The Israeli F-35 and the Russian Su-57 are two of the most advanced fighter aircraft in existence today. Nevertheless, the operational effectiveness and challenges of these systems are considerably different when deployed in real-world combat scenarios, particularly when faced with varying levels of adversarial air defense systems. A comparative analysis of the two aircraft emphasizes the operational environment's influence on their performance and their technological capabilities. Israel has deployed the Israeli F-35, a fifth-generation stealth multi-role fighter, in a series of precision airstrikes in Syria to destroy Iranian and Hezbollah positions. Sophisticated Russian-supplied S-300 and S-400 air defense systems, which are widely considered to be among the most formidable in the world, have safeguarded these regions during these missions. It is possible that the Russian personnel responsible for operating these systems did not receive instructions to shoot down enemy aircraft. However, this is solely speculation. According to Western reports, the F-35 succeeded in meeting its objectives by avoiding detection through its operation. Israeli officials have acknowledged the F-35's significance as a game-changer for modern warfare and its use in combat. Additionally, there have been unverified reports that Israeli F-35s may have performed reconnaissance or limited strikes in Iranian territory. Despite its robustness, Iran's air defense network is not at the forefront of global air defense technology. This network comprises Russian-supplied older S-300 systems and domestically produced systems, including the Bavar 373. If the claims are true, it further emphasizes the F-35's ability to operate effectively in contested environments and penetrate layered defenses. The United States military has utilized the F-35 in combat actions in Iraq and Syria, effectively combating ISIS forces and demonstrating its ability to reduce radar and missile threats. However, it is entirely feasible that the F-35 used long-range precision-guided munitions, for example, small-diameter bombs, JSOWs, or AGM-158 JASMs, to suppress or destroy air defense systems without entering their full engagement envelope. This would be consistent with the F-35's doctrine of using advanced electronic warfare, stealth, and standoff weaponry to mitigate risks while attaining mission objectives. However, the absence of casualties in these operations still implies a certain level of effectiveness and survivability in contested environments. The F-35's sophisticated electronic warfare suite and low radar cross-section theoretically allow it to evade detection or suppress hostile air defenses. Reports state that the aircraft's distributed aperture system and electronic countermeasures enable it to engage threats undetected. There is no publicly available verified evidence that F-35s engaged Syrian or Iranian air defense systems through direct flyovers or close-range engagements. This raises the question of whether the effectiveness was mainly due to the use of long-range weapons, which reduced significant risk, or to stealth and operational planning. On the other hand, the Russian Su-57 encounters an entirely distinct operational environment and set of challenges. The Su-57's technological advances and stealth cap capabilities have been the subject of Western scrutiny, despite its classification as a fifth-generation fighter. It is prone to detection by modern air defense systems due to its radar cross-section being bigger than that of the F-35, as indicated by reports. The current conflict in Ukraine has tested the Su-57's ability to operate in an environment with extensive, sophisticated, Western-supplied air defense systems, such as the Patriot, NASAMS, IRIS-T, and SAMP-T. These cutting-edge systems, specifically designed to counter sophisticated threats like stealth aircraft, pose a significant challenge to the Su-57. State-of-the-art avionics, including a phased-array radar system capable of 360-degree coverage, equip the Su-57. This system is similar to the distributed aperture system of the F-35, which features multiple sensors to provide comprehensive battlefield awareness, superior situational awareness, and target tracking in complex environments. A sophisticated electronic warfare suite equips the Su-57 to disrupt enemy radar and communications, enabling it to engage threats and decrease the likelihood of detection. This capability is comparable to the electronic warfare systems of the F-35, which enable it to evade or suppress hostile air defenses. In the context of the Ukrainian conflict, 
the operational limitations of the Su-57 are significant. The intensity and density of Ukraine's air defense network hindered Russia's ability to establish air superiority. In an environment of such elevated threat, the Su-57 may implement electronic warfare, decoys, and standoff weaponry to enhance its survivability. However, these approaches do not ensure success. Compared to the larger Russian air campaign, the F-35's role in the conflict and its proven performance against sophisticated air defenses seem limited. The Su-57 has primarily launched long-range missiles, such as the KH-59 or KH-31, from locations that are beyond the effective range of Ukraine's air defenses, according to reports. This mode of operation is in accordance with the concept concerning the F-35's role in Syria, which emphasizes the avoidance of direct confrontation with sophisticated defenses and the use of standoff weaponry. Despite not successfully breaching a sophisticated, actively hostile air defense network, both aircraft in these examples have proven their ability to endure in contested airspace. Despite having a more extensive combat record than the Su-57, the F-35's performance against the modern integrated air defense system remains restricted due to its reliance on standoff tactics and lack of direct engagement with advanced air defenses. In the same vein, the Su-57's operations in Ukraine, while impressive in terms of survivability, do not inherently suggest greater effectiveness against state-of-the-art air defenses. In a high-intensity conflict against a peer adversary with the most sophisticated air defense systems, neither aircraft has received complete validation despite their adaptability to contested environments. Now, do you think the F-35 had better circumstances in conflict than the Su-57? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.